How's it going guys? So we got almost two and a half inches of rain since yesterday afternoon. We're getting the roof put on now. And yesterday they put all those trusses on. Got all the purlins laid across, which is the two by fours going long ways. Then they just attach that metal onto it. We're putting a steel roof on this building. A lot of our barns have aluminum. The advantage to aluminum is it doesn't rust, but it'll kind of move a little bit when it heats and cools and it can work holes in it, starts to leak. So we decided to go steel on this building. I'm in the milking parlor right now. My last video I showed you that big 16 foot diameter ceiling fan we want to install in here. We have those two little ones. We just put those in to push warm air down in the winter. Uh, we're going to be removing those and putting it right in the middle. So we're trying to figure out exactly how we're going to get it up there. We're going to set some boards across. There's strong metal pipes there. We can stand on those. We got a couple boards. Brings my head right up to the ceiling, so that's good. I think it's a pretty heavy fan, so I'm not sure. We're gonna need to figure out how we wanna lift it up here exactly. We got some help now, so we're gonna try and see if we can fasten this fan up. Oh yeah, that's solid. Sorry guys, I didn't even film that. Happened pretty quick. We had four guys here helping lifted it up. Really wasn't too bad. It doesn't weigh quite as much as we thought. It's maybe a little over 100 pounds. But we got those big screws up into these rafters. And it's not going anywhere. So we just got a little electric work. We're gonna have the electrician wire it up this week. Maybe next week, actually. And then we'll get the blades bolted on. We got the north side of the roof all done. Now they're working on the south side. Tomorrow we're going to be digging the water and electric lines coming from the old barn through there. So I just take a flat shot when you tell me when to stop and then we just work our way down through. Okay. Call the electrician in when he gets down there. Four different waters through the barn. We're gonna run them all down through this trench. We have water coming out the end of this barn. We're gonna dig all this out, hook the line up to here, and then run it right across to the barn. He just dug this trench out. We're gonna put a layer of stone dust at the bottom of it, about three inches. Good. We're putting 
putting the stone dust down under the water lines. This is just real fine material. It's kind of soft. Help protect the pipe from getting scratched open by a rock or something. They like to use stone dust too because if you're ever digging, trying to find the water line, you'll hit that stone dust and know you're getting close. This is an old soap barrel that we're going to use to put underneath the watering troughs where the pipes and the wires can come up through. These will go down here below each watering trough. Just uh, make an empty space there where we're gonna have the connection. The watering line will come in the bottom. One will do two pens, so it's gonna be a pen dividing these two. And this water will take care of both groups. So we got eight groups all together, four waterers. We got this old concrete box. It had been sitting out here before. We had had to remove it when we were excavating. We're gonna use this to put all our water connections inside of. Ready to bring plumbing and electric through here. We're just gonna run the water pipes right up underneath this and then put our valves and everything inside here. Now we're working on pulling the water line out. He's got a big roll of it on his truck there. All right, that's probably about good. Got everything in place. It's a conduit for the electric.
we got rain moving in now so we're kind of in a hurry but starting to fill back in put stone dust over the pipes now we're just going to put fill on top and pack it down We got a bunch of fill back in. But it's the next week now. We quit Friday afternoon. We didn't fill in the inside of the barn. So we're gonna put stone dust in the bottom of this trench and then fill, get ready for concrete this week. So we're completely done filling in the middle. Those waters are ready to go. Now we're just working outside. Got these lines run underneath this concrete block. Finishing up this end of the barn. We're working on forming up the curbs along the back now. We stuck rebar through the post. It's gonna tie everything together. There's pipes they're gonna hang the gates on. They're digging down a little bit to set those pipes deeper. Just forming them up like that. The wiring troughs will sit right on top of this. It's got the conduit line for the water heater. Keep the water from freezing. Then this is the water line. Got everything filled in and ready to go. These are the water troughs. Thanks for watching guys.